Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nightwing2303 from Wear Testers. And today I got a new pickup. Just wanted to show the shoes off a little bit. Compare them with an OG since these are remastered. Bam! This is what they are. Air Jordan 13 low. We haven't had one of these since about 2005. Not this colorway, just the shoe in general being in low top form. Also, some people seem to be very confused with the term remastered. Remastered does not refer to colorways. Remaster refers to the materials used, or I should say the quality of materials used, and the overall shape and craftsmanship of the shoe. They're trying to keep things as OG as possible. I'm going to show you that it's not always like that with these guys right here but this is a great release nonetheless so with that being said let's go ahead and get right into it all right guys so first things first this is how they come in the box they basically put a brand new little cover they used to use paper for things like this but now it's a plastic cardboard insert and this is so that the uh, the dyed suede here doesn't bleed onto the white lining. So again, being remastered has nothing to do with the colorway itself. These are obviously not an OG colorway. This is a brand new colorway. So little details on the shoe include what they call premium uh, tumbled leather. I wouldn't say that this is premium, but it is better than what we've received in the past. You have the Jordan on the tab there. And on new 13 releases, it says 13 on the back. Super soft and comfortable suede tongue with the Jumpman embroidered. Clean low top silhouette. Low tops are just my favorite. Not all Jordan signatures look great in a low top but the 13 is one of them possibly besides the 11s one of the sexiest outsoles that have ever been on any shoe in the history of sneaker kind and inside you got white guts with a midnight navy jump man now in terms of being remastered comparing them to the originals they do have the metal jump man on the heel which is just like the original pair they actually took those off for the 2005 pair and they had these little like gelled jewel kind of jump mans on there. They looked horrible. And I actually have a pair. I forgot that I even had these. So again, the OG had the metal jump man right there. And the 2005s had these pieces of crap. And then we're back to quality with the metal jump man on there. You can see it comes off of the shoe. These will fall off though if you play in them. That was something that the OGs were notorious for. These things get yanked off. Uh, people step on your shoes or whatever. So um, it's not a quality thing. It's just that's what had always happened, which is possibly why they changed it to the other stuff. So as far as material comparisons are concerned, this pair obviously OG has the best leather the thickest cut what I would call premium This guy is actually in second place even though this leather right here on the toe box pretty shitty. But this is really nice tumbled right here And then while these are not bad by any means They just aren't as nice and soft as these guys definitely not as these guys and the leather cut is also nowhere near the same as these two The suede on the tongue as well as the mid panels also not quite the same definitely a little bit nicer and softer on these guys But this is pretty darn close and it's way closer than this stuff which actually feels more like felt than it does suede even though all three of these utilize a synthetic suede now the one thing that definitely holds these things back from being what i would consider remastered is that the midsole here is literally suedeless some people might not care but this is a small detail that i actually really do mind they're very comfortable still so i don't like hold it against them and the colorway is super clean and i love the 13 so that's why i ended up grabbing a pair but in 2005 they did it and back in 97 98 they did it too now you can't tell me that this looks better than this it just doesn't this is how the shoe was supposed to look it was supposed to be premium looking with the suede running all the way through down the midsole and with the whole half and half the painted and then the uh the suede upper just doesn't work for me but overall they are beautiful shoes and a quick look at everything really great colorway i think got the carbon fiber plate and the bottoms again and that'll pretty much take care of it thank you guys for watching thanks for all your support i grabbed these from the fixed kicks they're actually a new reseller here in the bay area i'm going to link their website down in the description box below if you're looking for some og stuff they got some really sweet stuff over there like og team models that i haven't seen since high school but again that'll pretty much take care of it if you guys grabbed a pair of these comment below and let me know what you guys think so thanks again and until next time guys have a good one